Radical. Before I go into talking about the stated topic in the title, just want to say the Warriors look amazing. They are 9-1. Steph Curry had 50 points, and he broke some kind of a record for having the most points and I think the most assist for any player at his age. So, yes, the Warriors are just rolling. They're looking amazing. And like I mentioned before, they don't have Klay Thompson and they don't have Wiseman. This team is scary good. But on to the topic at hand. There were two fouls that happened. Two technical fouls. I think one was a flagrant unsportsmanlike conduct. It was called at the end of the game between the Nuggets and the Heat. Two really great teams this year. The Heat, I think, are still in lead of the Eastern Conference. Real good teams. And the Nuggets were taking care of the Heat. And it was towards the end of the game. And Jokic was bringing the ball down to court. Defending MVP Jokic bringing the ball down to court. And towards the half-court line, you see in the thumbnail here, he was straight up blindsided by Markeith Morris. It was a hard foul. It was not just a hard foul, but the guy got elbowed right in the ribs. Okay? Now, this guy, Markeith Morris, he's really slick. He's really smooth with these fouls. You know how some guys will try to do a dirty foul? Like, they're going to foul you, but they're going to try to hurt you also. Okay? So, straight up, he was targeting Jokic's ribs. And if you look and pay close attention, his knee was actually raised up like he was attempting to, you know, target uh, the left of Jokic's knee with his knee, you know. But people are mostly focusing on him trying to elbow and succeeding in elbowing Jokic in the ribs. Now, Jokic didn't much like that. You don't like getting blindsided. Is a man, you know what, whether it's on the court at basketball, whether it's football, whether it's just on the street, if you are blindsided by somebody and they straight up target you and target your ribs and you know they're trying to hurt you, guess what? Is a man you're going to defend yourself. And Jokic defended himself. Now, did he over-exaggerate? Well, he elbowed Markeith Morris in the back. You see the second bit of the thumbnail there? He elbowed him and sent the guy flying. Jokic's a big boy. You know, so of all the people to pick on and to try to do a hard foul on, maybe Markeith will probably try to rethink things in the future. Now, Jokic elbowed Markeith, and some people are saying, well, he was blindsiding him. Kind of like Patrick Beverly blindsided somebody last year during the, their game with the, I forget, the Suns, I believe, the Clippers and the Suns. Yeah, yeah. But these are two entirely different situations. And Pat Bev is one of the dirtiest players also. He's pretty dirty. He might be dirtier than Markeith. I'm not sure. But they're both dirty players, dirty foulers. Now, I guarantee you today, in a lot of sports media, you'll be hearing that Jokic, he is not acting like a proper MVP. Jokic was way out of line in retaliating. But I think it's the opposite. I think if you get elbowed in the ribs, and it's a player with a dirty history, and you know the history of the player, you know it's not an accident, then as a man, you need to stand up and retaliate. You know, did he, did he hit him in the back of the head? No, he didn't. He shoved him. He shoved him. Now, it was a hard shove, sure, but uh, I think it's well within, well within acceptability for me. Because you have to let people know and send the message across to people that you are not soft. As a man, you are not soft. And it might actually help protect him from future people trying to target him. Whether it's the ribs, whether it's the head, whether it's any area. You let people know that there will be retaliation if you try to target me. You know, Now, will it get him maybe a suspension? Probably. Uh, I think Markeith Morris... He was on the, I think he was on the court overplaying that, writhing in agony like, you know, he was uh, near death and everything. It was a lot of overacting. So you can't tell me that he turns his back, not expecting some retaliation. Maybe all that was done just because he expected to get a shove. You know, either that or he's like the stupidest person on earth. You are elbowing somebody into ribs. And you are turning your back on somebody. I think it would have been 
not as bad if he would have actually not turned his back on him. And then Jokic would have walked up and actually still maybe shoved him a bit. But the fact that he turned his back, you know, I think that made the big guy more furious that he's going to do this. He's going to, you know, steal this hit on me in the ribs and he's going to walk off. He's going to walk off like nothing happened. You know, I think that's maybe what set, uh, set the seven footer off more than anything else.